Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 16th, but we know the timing is fluid, right? So, these readings are timeless. I've got almost all of the Octobers done, so if you want to catch those, uh, if you'd like to book a reading, I will put the link below this video as well. Let's get started. What do we have for our message today? For around the 16th. Chariot. So that is taking a journey. Somebody is taking a journey. They're going someplace. They're determined. Lovers reversed, so we have a separation. This is a separation. Six of Wands reversed, the loss. This is a separation loss. The Six of Wands upright is victory. Oh, after a battle, it's like you've won the battle. This is lost the fight. This is disgraced. No staying power. This is like a loser. No offense. Embarrassment. Somebody may have gotten themselves in some sort of situation with somebody. Uh, that was, I don't know if they were already taken or it just they weren't compatible or something like that. They may have done something spur of the moment. Now they're embarrassed. This is consequences. There's some sort of consequences here. This is leaving, seriously, going someplace. There's a lot of disharmony here. We got two sixes reversed. So this is disharmony, it's discontent, somebody is not on the right track. They've made a poor choice. Ooh, eight of wands reversed. Now there's jealousy issues. There's jealousy here. There's feeling guilty. Somebody's feeling guilty. Mm. Somebody moved too fast. They acted impulsively. There's definitely a uh, poor decision. Somebody made a poor decision to get involved with somebody that they shouldn't have. Whether it rose romantically or not. Somebody made a poor choice. Now they're feeling guilty or they're needing to get the hell out of there before all hell breaks loose. But I think all hell is breaking loose. This is a battle zone. This is a war zone. A lot of fighting going on. There's some unwelcome news that is coming. Okay, this is unwelcome news. Or it already has been delivered. <laughs> However that resonates with you, this is needing to go. I gotta go. Oh, an obstacle is being removed. There's been a lot of lies. Somebody's been pretending. Pretending that everything was okay, but everything is not okay. Choosing not to see reality. Living in fear. Trapped in their mind. Trapped in their thoughts. But now this is stepping outside. i got to get the hell out of here. This is not safe. It's not. Interesting. 
there could be some exposure here. Some lies may be being exposed. Or they have been exposed. They can't be hidden anymore. It's like the truth can't be denied. It can't be buried anymore. Something like that. King of Cups. King of Cups. Could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Could be dealing with a Gemini, Cancer over here. King of Cups is somebody that is very feeling, very loving. That is very charming, very romantic. So we have a very romantic, charming individual here. Can charm the pants off of anybody. It's all lies. This is somebody who's very smooth talker. Very smooth. Says all the right things to get people stuck. I mean, this person is, is isn't seeing because they're all wrapped up. They're all wrapped up in their emotions. This person is very smooth at talking, has gotten this person to believe their words. That's real good. Ah, well, the three of swords. This is heartbroken, heartbreak, being stabbed. This is, this is getting hurt. This is very hurtful, painful. So there is definitely a painful situation here. Somebody is breaking free from somebody that hurt them. It was all talk. This was denial. Somebody was in denial. They heard everything they wanted to hear. It was like a thousand forevers. Oh, forever. I'm going to love you forever. Forever. Forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. It's me and you forever. I'll love you forever. This is heartbreaking. It really is. The Three of Swords is heartbreaking. That's that's that is. It's 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 grieving. It's suffering. It's painful. It's a rejection. Somebody is is being rejected now. And it's very 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 painful. It's a painful ending. Somebody is, is, is removing themselves from being trapped in this situation that has hurt them so bad. It's like they're seeing the truth. They're taking the mask off. They see who they're dealing with now. They may be stopping all communication and leaving. It could be happening very suddenly. It could be a sudden departure. This is a loss. There's been a lot of fighting going on. A lot of back and forth. A lot of disharmony with these sixes reversed. Oh, another six reversed. Six, six, six. All three of them reversed. Six, six, six. Upright is the journey to balance and harmony. In reverse, it's the opposite. There hasn't been any. And sixes are about choices. Somebody has made a really poor decision based on words. Six of cups reversed, packing up, leaving home. Packing up. Nothing stays the same. There's some sort of abuse, emotional abuse. Somebody is going to be freed from their obligations or freed from their responsibilities or freed from a partnership, okay? This isn't love. This person that hurt them has selective memory.
Anyway, there's bad news that is coming. It's not good news. So there's some bad news coming. Um, there's going to be some sort of separation. This is not uh, forever. Five of Swords reversed. This is uh, crime being exposed next to this eight, eight of Swords exposure. Something is being exposed. There's some sort of humiliation as well. Embarrassment. Could be public embarrassment. There is definitely mourning. There's sadness. So it feels like we're going to have a loss where there's some sort of mourning. You know, mourning. Okay, somebody wasn't heeding a warning. Um, this is like, uh, there's some sort of revenge here or something. There's some sort of crime. It feels like there's a crime. Somebody may be committing a crime. Or they did commit a crime. Maybe it was adultery. It doesn't have to be adultery. But somebody, it could be, I don't know, it could be anything. It feels like there could be a crime um, here, just being honest. Criminal activity by the looks of things. Somebody has been keeping somebody tied up or, or uh, confined. may have something to do with prison, jail, something like that. Somebody could end up in jail. They could end up in prison or they went to prison or something like that. Somebody's definitely feeling guilty for what they did. They may have committed some sort of crime and they feel guilty. Or they were going to be found guilty. Or something like that. There is some sort of blocking or shutdown of communication with that Eight of Wands. Reverse communication may be stopped. Somebody may be stopped in their tracks. They may get stopped. They could get pulled over. They could go end up in jail. Not sure what's happening. Or they did go to jail. Or there's something to do with jail or prison here. There's a lot of heartache. There's pain. There's suffering. Not listening to anybody's advice. Not listening to any warnings. Wanting to win at all costs. Not caring who they hurt. Somebody doesn't care who they hurt. They didn't care who they hurt. And maybe this person is losing it all. There's some sort of public humiliation because, you know, when people hear the truth, because I feel like there's some sort of truth that comes out and nobody likes them. There's a lot of memories of the past here. Feeling guilty about the past as well. We have, we have disgrace. We have somebody here that is very, very much embarrassed and disgraced over their actions. But there's a separation now. There's some sort of separation here that breaks them free because this is freedom from something that isn't meant to be. It is. So somebody is being broken free, whether they're breaking themselves free or what. Could be a mental prison. Somebody could be breaking themselves free from, a, from some sort of prison that they've chosen to stay in. Because they just want peace. And they haven't had any peace. There's no peace here. Okay? Maybe there's a peace in bed, but that was about it. But anyhow, um, there's no real peace There's been a lot of suffering and a lot of pain. And this is about finding the mental strength and the determination and the discipline. So somebody in that is the first card out. So somebody is going to be taking a ride. They're going to be going someplace. This is a card of moving forward, finding the self-control. It's not going to be easy. This is self-control, self-discipline, and hard work. So somebody is, is going to be finding their ability to take charge of a situation. So they're going to be going someplace. Where they've been, there's been no success. There has been no success. 
they've blocked their emotions or they've blocked themselves from happiness or whatever. Anyhow, there's been no success where they're where they've been, but they want success, and the only way they're gonna get success is to take action. But this is like a one-hit wonder that has a very big ego because the six of wands is reversed as somebody with an overinflated ego. And we do have somebody here with an overinflated ego. This person with an overinflated ego that talks a really good talk may have gotten hurt themselves. May have gotten cheated on or, you know, something like that. Zero. That's the fool starting fresh, starting over. Mm, somebody wants to start over. They want to start fresh. They want to escape. Somebody's running away. They're running away. They're leaving. This person is running away. Wanting to leave it all behind, taking a risk. So somebody is definitely going to take a risk. They want a fresh start. And it looks like they're running back to the, somebody in their past. Somebody may be running back to somebody that they rejected in the past. They probably haven't communicated with this person in some time. Now, I don't know who this person could be. Now, this is starting fresh, starting from scratch, starting over, needing to have faith. And this is a card of faith as well. Somebody needs to have faith and they can't, they got to let go of their fear. No fear. So somebody has to find their confidence to take a risk. And I think they are. I think that this person is going to take a risk. Because they want a new beginning. Because this is a new beginning. This is a fresh start. Somebody is making, and that is freedom. And this one is freedom as well. So somebody, this is freedom, this is freedom. So anyway, somebody is making a spur of the moment decision to break free from something. And they're, and it's like they're, they're ready to face their fears. Somebody is ready to face their fears. And I feel like they've been fearful, maybe because they've been hurt in the past. I don't know how this resonates with you, but this is an arrival. Somebody is arriving. Feels like it's somebody that it may have failed in the past. There's been some sort of failure in the past, or it didn't it didn't work out in the past, or it didn't didn't make it. Somebody it, it, it there was a loss. Okay. It, uh, the Six of Wands reverse. It didn't end successfully, you know. But now somebody is finding their strength and their willpower to put in effort. Somebody really, really wants a new beginning. Ah, with the Empress. Mm, the Empress. The Empress is the giver of life. She's a creator. Okay, the Empress is a creator. She can create anything. She creates everything with love. She is very abundant, very beautiful. She has multiple options. Uh, she's comfortable. She's beautiful. She's glowing. She's sensual. So this is the birth of a new life. There's an opportunity for a new beginning here. This is a very fertile time for abundance and love. So we do have a new beginning here. We have somebody that is headed towards this empress. This empress is somebody that is uh, very valuable. She knows her value. Looks like she's the Empress. Could be a Taurus, could be a Libra, could be anybody. But this Empress is, she looks like she's looking at this Six of Wands in reverse. She's looking at this loser. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. You know, I, I mean, I said it earlier. This is a loser. And this guy may feel guilty for being a loser. He probably should. Anyhow. Um, 
Ace of Swords reversed. That is distrust. Lack of honesty, lack of communication. There is lack of communication here. A loss of power. This person lacks confidence. Whoever this person is over here, this guy that, or whoever it is that I called, you know, that isn't quite a winner, okay? This person lacks communication skills and doesn't really communicate well because he needs to, they need to find their strength and their willpower and their determination to take the bull by the horns. Anyhow, the Empress gives birth to a new life. She is a creator. She does everything with love. She can create anything. She has the know-how to do so. But anyhow, so this Empress... I feel like she's going to be asked to go for a ride or to go out somewhere. And I think it's going to be a surprise. I do think it's going to be a surprise because I feel like there's been no communication from this person. With the Eight of Wands reversed and the and the Ace of Swords reversed and the Six of Wands, this person is, is weak. No offense, but, you know, is... Uh, Cowardly. I'm just, I gotta be honest with you. This person uh, has an overinflated ego, but uh, is, very, is very egotistical, but feels like they will be rejected if they ask. If you don't ask, you will be rejected. You've got to have faith. You have to open up. I feel as though uh, there is a new beginning here. There's an opportunity to start over. This Empress is waiting. She is waiting. She is waiting for this arrival. But she's not going to beg. She's not going to communicate. She's not communicating. Because she knows her value. The Empress is the queen of all queens. She is. She knows She's not communicating because she knows her value. She don't chase men. Any woman, and I don't care if you like me or not, that chases a man doesn't know her value. Be prepared for a message. A good a message is coming. Somebody wants this Empress. They haven't had the strength to step forward. They may feel like they're a loser because they were in the past or they didn't have the strength or whatever to fight. Or they made some poor choices or whatever and they don't want to face the music or whatever. But I feel as though we have somebody here that is finding their strength and their confidence and their determination to be successful. They're going to do whatever it takes. Somebody may be... Uh, apologizing with that five of swords reversed for walking away for making a poor choice somebody's about to burst right in good luck 